So this is a phase one trial designed to find the dose uh, for the phase for moving forward of Velaparib in three different regimens, including carboplatinum paclitaxel every three weeks, carboplatinum paclitaxel at a dose dense regimen, as well as an IP IV uh, arm. So the main toxicities were febrile neutropenia as well as thrombocytopenia, which, off, which required a dose reduction or a dose delay in many patients. In moving forward, however, they have modified the doses to make this regimen more tolerable, as well as removing the IP arm for the phase three trial. The Ariel 2 trial looked at women who had a recurrent platinum-sensitive ovarian cancer and identified women with BRCA mutations um, in, in their tumor. Many patients did not actually have a germline mutation, but were found to have somatic mutations in their tumor or a loss of heter heterozygosity. When they compared these two populations to patients with uh, BRCA wild type, they found that the patients with loss of heterozygosity zygosity or mutation actually did better. This study showed that patients who had the BRCA mutation actually had the best response to recaparib and patients who had the loss of heterozygosity also had a favorable response but not as high as those patients with the mutation. Patients who had wild type did not demonstrate as high of a response. The next steps for this trial are to study this in heavily treated populations as well as looking at a maintenance arm but this, this study demonstrates that precision medicine may be the future.